Hi, my name is Billy Trimbo with Cisco Tech. In this video, I'm going to provide valuable information and steps for maintaining a healthy DB replication status in the IAM and Presence cluster. Database replication is an essential process that occurs between the Publisher Presence node and the Subscriber Presence node. Without it, the database tables between the two nodes will not match and sync issues will occur which could cause a number of problems for Jabber users. Let's start with two main commands you will use in a presence environment to check the DB replication status. The most common replication command is the runtime state command that is performed by typing utils db replication runtime state. Quite a bit of information is revealed from this command, but we need to first talk about the cluster replication state at the top. Notice this provides the date of the last status. In order to obtain a current report status, we should perform a different command first. This is the utils db replication status command. This command will force a new replication report. As you can see, there's an option to review the report generated. So we can highlight to copy this line and then paste it in the command line interface like so. This is a large report. So if we want to review this file, it is probably better to slightly change the command to file get instead of file view. And this will allow you to upload the file to an SFTP server. Let's go back to the runtime state command. Now we can review current information from this command. The cluster replication state has been updated. As you can see, there are 316 tables that were checked between the nodes. And after that, we have the results of the table check. If there are any mismatches between the nodes, this line here will declare an error. In my environment, there are no errors or mismatches found. And just like the db replication status command, there is another log report. We can use the same copy and paste method to review or download. Now let's look at the second half of these results. What you see here is a representation of the connectivity and replication state of the presence cluster. There's a lot of information here, but we're going to focus on the last column on the replication setup and details. In a healthy DB replication, we should never see anything more than a 2 setup completed. Anything else means the replication is broken or in the process of repair. Here's a chart of what each number means. For example, if the replication is in a zero state, it means that replication is in the process of initialization. A status of 2 setup completed means replication is in a good state. Any other number outside of that is not what you want to see, and if you do, it means replication is broken or in a bad state. Now, let me show you what it looks like in my lab when DB replication is broken. Notice there is not any number representing the DB replication state. My subscriber node is stating the database has dropped from the replication. In another video, I will demonstrate how to recover from DB replication failure, but for now, let me show you what checks you can make to prepare for rebuilding DB replication. First, since connectivity is a major key to healthy replication, we need to check this between both nodes. The easiest way is to perform connectivity checks with the command utils network connectivity, and then the node name of the other presence server. So on my presence publisher, I'm going to type utils network connectivity, and then the name of my presence subscriber. This passed normally, so we'll go on to the subscriber now and do the same using the publisher as the node name. And the test passed here as well. Now the next step is to run a full diagnostics on both nodes using the command utils diagnose test. 
The network validation and NTP tests are what we want to focus on. If we see any errors in NTP especially, this could very well be the reason for replication issues and they will need to be addressed first. Since the communications manager is the source of NTP for presence, the same utils diagnose test command should be used on the communications manager publisher and if the same NTP issues show up there, it will need to be resolved before going further with replication repair on presence. I have now completed checking connectivity and diagnostics between the presence publisher and subscriber nodes. In another video, we will work through the steps for a replication rebuild. I hope that this video has provided an understanding of how DB replication works and how to check for issues in your presence cluster. Please check the Cisco video portal where I will demonstrate how to recover from a DB replication failure. Thank you for watching.